Hello guys, welcome and welcome back to another edition on Immigrate with Ami. I've brought to you guys another juicy information, fully funded Erasmus scholarship for master's students. If you're wondering what Erasmus is, it is great chances for international students to study free of charge in Europe. This is Europe's largest scholarship program for international students to study at various universities in various countries in Europe. There's no age restrictions, no GRE required. If you recently graduated from a university or a college and you're waiting for your results to be out, you can apply for this scholarship. If you have a low CGPA, you can also apply for this scholarship. The duration for this scholarship program is two years for master's students. You don't have to contact any professor before you can apply for this scholarship. There is no previous work experience needed. You can also apply and study without IELTS depending on the program you are applying for and the country you are applying from. This scholarship program is open to everyone, any citizen from any part of the world. Not just that, 3,000 scholarships will be available for 2023 to 2024 intake. Guys, this is a golden opportunity. Okay, let's take a look at the benefit of Erasmus scholarship. They will cover all your expenses, monthly stipend of 1,100 to 1,200 euros per month, free tuition fee, traveling allowance, international airfare tickets, travel allowance from country to country when your semester will be finished. There is no restriction to return to the country. Job visa granted after a master's program. Guys, there are so many benefits. You must jump on this opportunity. Application will be starting in October 2022 until March 2023. So you have enough time to get all the required documents ready. So let's take a look at the requirements before one can apply for this scholarship. The first requirement is you would need your BSc transcript, motivation letter for scholarship, passport or national ID copy, CV for scholarship, which is optional, plan of research, application form, recommendation letter for scholarship, letter of intent, study plan, certificate of facts. Also, you can check if your institute of program is accepting any other language test. So, my husband will be taking you guys to the official website where you can apply for Erasmus scholarship. He'll be explaining everything you need to know, how to go about applying, what you need to do, you know, how to find the program that is suitable for your profile, everything you need to know about this uh, scholarship. He'll be taking you to the official website. If you've enjoyed watching this video so far, please give it a thumbs up. You can also share this video with your friends. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notification for more informative videos. And yeah, keep watching. So guys, uh, welcome to the official page of the European Education and Culture Executive Agency. Um, where you can find all the information uh, regarding the Erasmus Mundus Joint Masters uh, Program and Scholarships. Um, so this is the page. Uh, Immigrate with Army will share this link so that, you know, at your convenience, you can also uh, go through the link and, you know, find more information and do uh, some research, okay? Uh, so you can here you can find like some general information regarding this Erasmus Mundus Joint Masters Program. So as you can see here, it's a joint masters program which is delivered by multiple higher education institutions, and it is run across various countries. So the advantage of that is that imagine you are accepted into a program. Uh, that is run across three countries, it gives you the opportunity uh, to study in all of those partner universities, which, you know, will broaden your scope. It will also help you to build uh, partnerships, okay? Um, so uh, that is what actually the Erasmus Mundus is all about. Uh, but before we go into the catalog, 
where we can see like the list of you know the available projects and programs i think it's good for us to uh, see what like what is the profile they are looking for and then how is the program actually organized okay so if you on the on this main page if you click on you know this read more to find out if if, if uh, the erasmus mundus joint masters is right for you if you click on this link uh, it will give you you know the information that you require so for example uh, generally speaking who is this targeted at so what is the applicant profile so they need students who can study at master's level and from all over the world so uh, wherever you know country you are from wherever you did your uh, uh, undergraduate studies you can apply for this program so there is no uh, there is no inhibition for you okay also of course you must have a bachelor's degree which we also call first degree or if you are still in the last year of your bachelor's degree you can also apply provided that you will finish your bachelor studies before the master's program starts so if you are in your final year of your bachelor studies you can also apply okay uh, also it's possible like in in some countries uh, there are some study programs which may not be called bachelors but which are equivalent to a bachelor so if that is your case you can also apply okay uh, secondly here you can find you know more information about uh, the Erasmus Mundus joint master's scholarships okay so these are the information here so uh, what are the activities at, and the outcomes so it, the, the program it covers the period of your study okay so and it covers you know your research placement activities imagine if you need to do like an internship uh, your thesis preparation and your thesis defense of course and the duration is usually uh, between one to two years depending on how the master's program is structured some are for one year while some are for uh, two years okay so if we go back to this catalog this is where you can see the list of all the programs and then you can find out the specific information about those programs okay uh, so but uh, before we move on to that uh, i think it's important for you to know that uh, you know according to the information on this page most of the applications are usually accepted between <clears throat> october and january of each year so this is august meaning that you know the next application cycle will start in october this year and um, it gives you lead time to prepare yourself to prepare your documentation to get all the necessary document so that once the application starts you can you know submit earlier okay okay so let's you know look through the catalog so according to this catalog you have 163 different programs different projects okay and you can look through each of them you can see it's a very long list okay it's a very long list but just to give you an example so imagine that so it depends on what what your plans are it depends on what you know you want to study it depends on your areas of interest okay for example this first one now has to do with governance and administration of leisure and sports international master so if you are interested if you think okay this meets my my aspirations okay then this program could be for you and for you to find out so the the requirement and you know the ways to apply and you know the format of application it, it differs there are some general requirements but the specifics differ from one program to another so you need to first search for the program you are interested in or if you're interested in more than one the programs you are interested in and then check out you know how to apply for those programs and what documents are required to apply for those programs so we can pick this first one as an example so if you uh, open this link you can find the specific information for this master's in governance and administration of leisure and sports so it's open here and you can see for example 
the general information, you know, the information regarding the program, uh, the cost and the scholarships, and then how to apply. So here you can see the goals of the program. Uh, it's important for you to actually, you know, look through uh, these goals because if you are writing a letter of motivation, this goal can guide you on how to structure your letter of motivation because what they are looking for is a fit. So they look at, you know, the goals of the program and then your motivation. And one of the things they are looking for is do they, you know, fit together? You understand? So uh, it's important for you to look at the goals of the program, okay, before you apply. And here you can see, you know, general information, the program, of course, and how to apply, all right? So we can pick an example of how to apply for this program. So if I click on that, okay, so you can see the eligibility, you can see the required document, and even how to apply online, okay? So for higher education, undergraduate degree, okay? And then your background must be in one of the following so they have set preference for people who have previous study in this area so sport management sport sociology sport marketing sport communication you know everything that has to do with sport or management or business administration so sociology marketing like that so also uh, they have a language proficiency requirement okay they have a language proficiency requirement because the program is taught in English and they need people who have English proficiency. So how can you show that either an IELTS with band 6.0 to 6.5, TOEFL, the internet-based test, score of 88, the Cambridge, you know, first or advanced, or you have two years full-time studies minimum in English. And this can be proven with a certificate from the university where you had your study. So if you have one of these uh, requirements, then you have the required language proficiency. Uh, if you all, you know, read further, you can see the list of the required documents. This is just an example, okay? So first, you need a copy, a legal copy of your bachelor's degree. You need a legal copy of your academic transcript. So you need your, your curriculum vitae, which, you know, preferably they want you to use the Europass template because this is an uh, European program. So from this link, actually, you can download that template and then, you know, put in your information to design uh, your CV. Uh, they also need the, the valid official language certificate, which we already spoke about. Uh, they need a copy of your passport or a valid ID document. Uh, so you can use the ID document if you are an EU citizen. But for, you know, citizenship from other parts of the world, you would need uh, your passport, okay? They also need, like, a, a proof of your current residence address, so, like, a certificate of current residence address. Two recommendation letters from an academic and a professional referee, okay? So, you need two recommendation letters, an academic and a professional. So, you need to inform the people who will be providing the reference letters. You understand? So you will provide their names and maybe their email address when you are making the application. And then they would send like a link to them so that they can download the sample letter of recommendation. And then they will just fill out that template and, you know, submit it back to the platform. Okay. And then here you can see the application procedure. So, uh, you know, the online application form, after you have, you, you finish the application, uh, if you are shortlisted, then they would set up an interview and then they will, you know, do the final selection, you know, and stuff like that. And then if the application is open directly from this link, you can go to the application, you know, page to submit your application. This is just a, a sample program, okay? And you have, you know, over a hundred of them, almost 200. And when they open the next cycle, we don't know, maybe there will even be more. So there are opportunities in every area of study. So imagine cartography, um, uh, sustainable mineral and metal processing, uh, uh, you know, okay, this is, I think this is French based actually. 
So love, data and artificial intelligence, islands and sustainability, you know, think of any program. And if you are confused because there are too many programs here, you can use these search filters to limit the number of results that it displays. So you want to search by country, you want to search by, you know, some keywords, okay? You want to search by the universities or maybe a field of study. You can, you know, put in whatever search criteria that you want to put in here and click on search. And then it gives you results that is based on those searches. And maybe that would uh, fine tune your searching and then it can give you a focus on the programs that are directly related to what you want okay uh, so i'm sure that you know before october or maybe when the 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 the, the portals are being opened immigrate with army will do another video just to inform you uh, that the portals are being opened and then you can submit your application but you have lead time between now and then to gather the requirement and then to prepare yourself start thinking of how you want to structure uh, the, the letter of motivation start looking at the goals of each program start looking at the requirement and then try to prepare yourself so that once the application portal opens, you can immediately submit your application. So I wish you all the best in your pursuits and uh, we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.